even the sun goes down, heroes eventually die, horoscopes often lie. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna be doing a replay analysis again of uh, Dak from the LFM community once again. Um, it's gonna be freaking lit. Alright, let's get it. Here you go. That kind of sucks since your teammate backed up in that when um, he really shouldn't have. So let's go back, watch this again. So your teammate backed up. It's probably the safest thing it to do would just be like turn. So I turn like into net right here, like turn right, and then like turn and back up into net decently far. Cause I know there's gonna be a shot on net here and he was gonna miss that. But you ended up being like in the perfect position for the most part. Sort of got demoed, the only thing you could have done would be like jump over that. I guess that's considered mechanics. <laughs> I say everything's mechanics, but it's like, I guess that counts. Awareness slash mechanics. So there, that's it. there's your turn to go for the ball. So you turn here, out to go get the ball, and then you're like, uh, wait, I should move back, which was probably like, the good decision was to not go, but you don't want to move back because that takes all your momentum. So when you go forward, like you don't have any momentum. And so you feel like trapped. And so right here, you, I bet you felt like a bit, hey, I was going to get beat to the ball. And so you waited, even though this hit is like basically yours. So AJ AIDS went after it and he didn't even have like any boost for the most part. So there you definitely shouldn't like, like jumping for it's sort of okay, but you see um, Sore go before you. So like you should basically stop boosting for the ball right here especially on a 3v3 when you don't know about your teammates so there you flew for it like all the way even though you're t like this guy's definitely going to hit the ball like even if you waited till um right here or even like here you know he's going to hit the ball here but you keep on you use more boost after that too. And so now you're like have no boost and got like a bad um, hit to the side, which didn't really even do anything. It's a pretty decent idea to go after the ball, seeing both your teammates were timid. Probably could have went for that earlier, like right there. That was probably your hit, because you backed off, right here. You're like back off, and then you turn for the again. And um, it basically just like screws your teammate over if he doesn't know what you're doing. So, see, you like ended up beating your own teammate. Good job going back on defense though. They're a little bit dangerous to go like turn on this already because cute, like, could have waited for that and had a really good boot. And so, you sort of like approach the ball pretty weird like, right here. You jumped a bit early here too. Like I have a big problem about this is jumping too early. So you're gonna wanna drive forward first and then jump. They're careful turning so much. Like they're like that's you gotta trust your teammate and go back on defense a bit more. Cause if Q gets it over um Doctor Strangelove, like or Derek, both of them could then um, you're like in a worse position. See, now you're back on defense and like in a backwards position. So the ball got past you. They could have easily scored right there. Good job seeing your teammate needed help. I, eh, that's a okay challenge to go for mo mainly, but when you're solo queuing, I probably wouldn't go for this, seeing that you don't have that much boost. And so if you don't hit the ball, there's a good chance you get scored on because you don't know how good your teammates are. Like, that could have easily have been a goal. So that was, like, a good thing to do, especially if you're, like, on a team helping other people. But if you don't know that or know that about your team, 
Like, that's not the best thing to do. Good job. You would have got that shot, just mechanic. There. I'm guessing you went for the bump, but that's super dangerous to do. Like it's not the it's not a bad idea once again, but like I said earlier, I'm not gonna repeat myself. You can go back if you really want to, but you know. Mind not trust your teammates. this real quick there it's a pretty decent hit that's you to follow be aware that you don't have any boost there it was an okay follow though still you might have gotten to the ball there again just gotta wait for your teammate good job knowing that he wasn't gonna hit it and being there you might want to be in a little bit better of a position for this because you hit it out center you could have gotten a shot on goal. You're going to really want to hit into a corner for the most part. That would be your hit, but if you don't know you can hit it, don't go for it. The mechanics. Because mechanics. There you go. Good hit. Good hit. Good attempt. Just mechanics getting to that ball better. That's your teammate. I'd turn in goal right here. Ended up working out, though. You almost scored. So here you're going to want to get on defense once again as good as possible. You sort of um, went to the ball a bit. Like you're really, like right here, ball cam on. You're really like attracted to this ball right now when you're really going to want to be going to the net. Which you did, you did end up uh, rotating the net pretty well. Just want to make sure you don't do a board. <laughs> it's a pretty good dunk. Nothing you can really do. Leave that for your teammates. Careful on, um, like, shadowing this, though. You shadowed this pretty well, though, considering. But you always want to be careful shadowing stuff like that. You might have known from the way you were looking, but sometimes you might do that and be getting in your teammate's way without even knowing, but you might have like already known what it looked like on AJ screen and everything. But that's just a me. That's a something that happens to me, so I'm gonna say it. You might, yeah, I was just gonna say, you're gonna probably wanna cheat back a little bit worse because going forward's not really doing you any um justice because if aj gets it past him like he gets it past him there's nobody left he either scores it or hits it off the backboard and that's an easy goal for you and if you push up there's a chance Derek gets it above both of you two so you're in a lose lose sit well not lose win ish situation but you could be in a win-win situation and so then you ended up losing or something you probably shouldn't have. You got lucky that your teammate was there. Because that could have easily went pretty bad. Pretty good kickoff. Entered. You see your teammate there. Careful on pushing up. Because that exactly what just happened. So see... You almost got scored on because of it. Could have gotten scored on because of it too. It's a pretty good pass. Very good pass. You saw your teammate, you hit it like straight at them. Beautiful. 
Once again, you gotta be a bit careful since your last one back. I'm yawning for no reason, oh my gosh. Oh, that really sucks. That would have been your hit and your time to take it slow. I don't really know why he was behind you, to be 100% honest, but it is what it is. Here's your turn to... So what you're going to want to do is probably stop, like, here. Because there's... Like, once again, if he gets it um, over or past Q... Like, that's an open net. You have time to get there. But if you go under, there's a chance you can um, get beat. Or sometimes you might want to follow, like, a little bit more behind them instead of, like, in between. Because if you follow behind them, that hit would have been yours. Like, you're going to pro you're probably you're gonna hit this, like, here. Right? Yeah, but you didn't really get it good because of it. And ended up, basically, like, not only did you hit it, like, backwards a bit, like, that's a pretty bad situation. AJ's going back, and this guy has boost right there, and the goal right there open. Which led to a goal, unsurprisingly. So right here is basically, and especially with the time, I forgot to even like take time into consideration. Definitely wanna, don't want to be in that position for um, the amount of time you have. Because it's just way too dangerous. You basically have losses. You also want to be like careful. Your whole team's right here. You're a little bit back, so you're a little bit better. But, you know, Derek hits that pass. You're pretty much done. Then AJ Aids gets a um, nuts pass. And you're able to um, see that he's going to miss and hit it. Because I would have definitely, like not hit it even though I could have because um AJ missed so you're nuts for that careful being in this position you don't want to get in AJ's way once again because you're sort of like only following the ball you could have been in AJ's Play, just be um, mindful for that even very beautiful shot there um, beautiful one to end the game but yeah you played pretty well I'll just say um, for one you're gonna wanna um, you're gonna wanna uh, shoot you're gonna wanna <laughs> you're gonna wanna freaking uh, like be more careful on defense when you're third man back uh, two, you're probably going to want to um, be more aware that you're playing a, a solo queue game. Like, that's a thing that I'm starting to see a lot is, like, make sure you know it's a solo queue game. Like, you have to take that in con into consideration. Like, that is your fault if your teammate messes up and you could have helped. Like, in my eyes, that's your fault. And I feel like that's a good way to look at it if you're trying to become really good so just those are the main points obviously anything else i said in the video uh thank you for watching thanks for the replay um hope you learned something hope you enjoy yada yada i don't know Q outro or something even the sun goes down heroes eventually die Horoscopes often lie, and sometimes why? Nothing is for show, nothing is for certain, nothing lasts forever, but until they close the curtain.